Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa is in Lesotho for talks with various stakeholders in preparation for the 38th SADC double troika. It will take place in Swaziland later this month as the SADC facilitator Ramaphosa is making a follow-up on Lesotho's progress regarding the implementation of security and constitutional reforms. Lesotho will once again be on the agenda of SADC. The Deputy President is meeting all the stakeholders as he prepares for the 38th SADC Summit to be held in Swaziland from the 30th to the 31st August 2016. And Deputy President is here to be briefed on progress that Lesotho has made and also to be advised and to position ourselves so that when we attend the, 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 the summit itself, we are on the same footing with the facilitator. The president also paid courtesy call to His Majesty King Litsia III and went on to meet the family of the deceased Army General Mabangwe Mahau, members of the opposition, College of Chiefs and the Council of Churches. The opposition is not completely happy with the process, but pinned their hopes on Sadak Summit to be decisive in dealing with Lesotho and finding a solution that will ultimately bring lasting peace. What will bring an end to uh, the problems of Lesotho is the re reform process in its entirety. What I hope will come from summit is a clear indication from SADAC that it is committed to ensuring that all the parties in Lesotho participate in that process. Uh, so far it has been a unilateral process of the government alone and without um, broad-based uh, participation, without broad-based support, it is doomed to failure. But if the process is opened up to all the role players, uh, I believe that Sadak will have played an important role in helping Lesotho now to have a brighter future. Mahao's family is not happy with how things have panned out. We are now in August and we have been told that the Prime Minister has said there is no progress yet. But even more alarming is that uh, the Prime Minister informs the facilitator that uh, he has set up a joint task team of the police and members of the Lesotho Defense Force to conduct the investigations. Those people, we are told, are being trained and uh, they have just passed out. Now, for goodness sake, Lieutenant General Mahao was killed in broad daylight. Some of the people are known by us as a family. They are known by the police. Why set up a joint task team that involves members of the military? Essentially what has been done is to say that the, the Sotho military must investigate itself. This sort of thing never happens anywhere in the world. It has taken at least 12 visits for the facilitation process of Deputy President Ramaphosa to be where it is. Whatever the outcome of the SADAC will be, the real solution to Basuto's problems lies within themselves. I'm Rapelang Khatebe, SABC News, Maseru Lesotho.